Good morning and welcome once again to Freedom Zone Worship Center. We thank God for another day that we're living and moving and having our being. We just thank God for this day and this opportunity. Thank God for those that are present. Thank God for those that are tuning in. We just thank God for him keeping us, making us and molding us and allowing us to yet be alive. We want to us uh, this time if you thank you for all that you are doing and all that you're going to do in our lives. We thank you, Father, for continuing to God that you continue to bless us as we move forward in you. Thank you for this day, O oh God, that we Lord God, but yet knowing that this day before we arrived. So we thank you for you've made for us, O oh God. But keep on the highways and byways. We just thank you for our families, our friends, and love. Lord, we thank you for loving us, and we thank you for blessing us to love you. We ask that you let the divine will be done. In son, Jesus' name, that we Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's thank God again for you being uh, tuning in with us uh, on today. Um, just thank God for his goodness, his mercy, and his grace. To be in the house of God one more time. To be in the presence of God one more time. We started talking yet last week on love. <clears throat> so hopefully um, all you uh, uh, wives and, and, and sweethearts and family benefit from uh that being already planted and that people they need to do to express and show love. Um, we're going to talk today on the power of love. The power of love. The power of love. You know, and it's um, uh, as I was studying it and I started pulling up the different names and, and, and it's like we don't have that, as, that much time. And so we're going to just talk about love. We're not going to deep into each name of love and um, we're talking about kinds of love, romantic love, family love, friendship love, and uh, self-love, which sometimes we neglect or we bypass and love everybody else. And you'll be surprised how many people are showing and doing things so much for other people, expressing love, but then hate to look in the mirror because they don't love themselves. Make sure we don't forget self-love. Love for parents, love for children. There's so many different forms of love, but it's still love. Yes. And then the love of all love is, and I'll mention that name, agape, but that, that godly love. Yes. That godly love. And, and we talked last week about that, um, that they, they that love God, know God. And you, you, know, you can't know God and not know love. And a little singing that thing they used to sing about what the world needs now is love, sweet love. That was true then, that is true now, and that will be true tomorrow. Now is love. No matter how macho, big, and mean, and everything else, everybody want to be cared about. And um, you, you take a child, two children, and uh, many times you look at people's lives, and some people that got in a lot of trouble, this and that, not everybody, but some people, they had no love growing up. Nobody to hold them and, and cuddle them and let them know they loved them and they cared about them. Um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be loved. So we're going to talk about again the, the love. And I love has power. Love has power. Love has a lot of power. You know, we, we, we start. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Yes. So when you start talking about the power of love, the power of love will cause you to give something. If somebody doing anything, then that love is not being activated the way it should. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Love will cause you to sacrifice. God sacrificed his son because of his love for us. The son sacrificed his life because 
That's the And now it comes down to us. As we live and go through this world, what are we loving and never? Power, when it comes to the power of love, love sacrifice, love saves. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that we that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Love saves. Love saves. Love of God saves. I'm, I'm a living witness. I'm witnesses that the power of God, the love of God, saves. We're saved. We are saved because of love. You loved and saved. Love and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and I to, you know, to come on home. Love saved. Love reaches. Love reaches out. There's power. So now we talked about this for God's love and 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 the power in God's love and. It saves. Well, First Peter four and eight. First Peter four and eight. Of all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover the of sins. Love covers. We're talking about the power of love now. Cycle. Love saves and love covers. Love covers. You know, you think about all of us because uh, none of us was born grown. But all of us are the perfect child. Maybe I wasn't, and don't know many more that was. But when you saw that, the fact that above all things have fervent love, fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sin. Still fed, fed you, clothed you, though you though you did some messes, they didn't in trouble so now I'll never feed you again. You can't live at this house again. You think about even the money that, that, that most of us have spent that people didn't live perfect around us but we still love them enough to feed them. Because them a ride. Some people bought money and never paid you back and you still bought them something to eat later on. Amen. You still did for them because of that fervent love for them. It's awesome not but also to love. Yeah. Love, is, love is a powerful, powerful, powerful thing. Many people are scared of love because they like, oh, it, it, the emotion or, oh, it call, you know, call me to do something I don't want to do or I don't want to get caught up. Love is awesome. Love is awesome. Jesus showed the example of what love will do. Once again, the power of love, sacrifice, saves, and then here it is in Peter. Above all things, have fervent love. See the issue. If we had fervent love, one for another, Amen. not based on Democrat and Republican and black and white and male and female. If we had fervent love, one for another, not based on if you live uptown or downtown, not based on if you have a bunch of money or not any money, not based on if you lived in the city or lived in a rural area. If we had fervent love, one for another. In fact, sometimes even in the body of Christ, fervent love, one for another, we wouldn't gripe and complain and put each other down and on and on and on. You're more more saved than you are. Love another. Love will cover a multitude of sins. Now that don't mean that okay, people just go do whatever. But it means we'll stop griping over the smallest of things. The smallest of things. The smallest of things. The power of love is forgiveness. Forgiveness. Being able to forgive. Being able to forgive. The power of love will cause you to forgive. Forgive. There are many couples right now, one of the biggest issues is nobody wants to forgive. Nobody wants to forgive. A lot of families, the issues right now, nobody wants to forgive. Yeah, the person was wrong, but that was 10 years ago. Nobody wants to forgive. And, and that's why love covers a multitude of sins. It means that the person, they weren't right. Okay, they, they did something that was wrong. When do we choose to forgive? 
Love is, it's amazing that God forgives us. And even in the Sunday school lesson this morning, we talked about how brand new mercies every day. That God is our holding grudges. You didn't listen yesterday, so I'm going to take a little air from you today. <laughs> brand new mercies, brand new graces every day. Now, here it is with us. I'm talking about the power of love. The power of love. We need to find that. Yes. Y'all God would have for you to be if you're walking in unforgiveness. Your marriage can't be all that it should be if you're not willing to forgive. Your family relationships can't be all that it should be and can be if you're not willing to forgive. The love is being able to forgive. I love you enough that I'm going to forgive you. Because just as Peter says, if I have that, that uh, a fervent love one for another. If you don't have that fervent love one for another, you're not going to care for one another as much and we see that in the country you don't care if I eat or don't eat don't care if I have a roof over my head or don't have a roof over my head that doesn't mean you have to provide it in your home but it means you're concerned enough to help some of these organizations that are trying to put up some shelters that allow yes. some to be out of the cold yes. Yes. Amen. you can't go all overseas and everywhere else kind of way to help those that are going to help provide something for somebody else. Above all things, one for another, for love of sin. If somebody's still holding something that you did 20 years ago, then ask them, okay, do you really love me or do you not? Because we can't go back and do the But I would say if any, any, anybody, any man, any woman, anybody in Christ, behold, they're a new creation. A new creation. All things have passed and all things have become new. And you can hold me to what I used to be. And somewhere along the way, where it should be. Amen. And the problem with that is that it holds us back. God want to use us more. And all this time we're talking about the power of love. And we get on into more about the fear and all of that. But that love sacrifices. Love saves. Love forgives. Love forgives. And, and it doesn't mean it's easy. You want your marriage to be awesome. Learn how to forgive. Learn how to sacrifice. Learn how. how and it doesn't mean you know. But some things that we expect from people, they can't give. That's right. They can't give. They can't give. Look, look, things. I, I, I was thinking about the fact that it, it, it's, it's, you, you, you can go to the, uh, in fact, yesterday, leading up to the, today, Valentine's Day. And by the way, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, but leading up to it, you, you go in the stores and go to the card section. And, and you see, because of love, you, you'll see people over there that are not mushy type people and, 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 and it's not the easiest thing. But they're over there trying to pick out a card for their time to go through. And some of them you can see it ain't comfortable, it's not comfortable. But because of love, because of love, I'm going to go get you something. I'm going to go pick out a card or make up a, a poem to give you. And, 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 and I'm going to say this now. If somebody make up a poem to give you from their heart, be careful what you say. And it's like the, the little kids on Valentine's Day would bring a, a little Valentine's card to mama. And mama was so, so, so excited about that card coming from them. And no idea that mama had already bought the cards. She may provide one. But it's, it's still the thought. Don't neglect the thought. It may put in what they're doing for you. Um, to express their love. Because see when it comes to love. And, and, and a lot of us can relate to it with our, our parents. Especially you grew up in old school. Um, a lot of times people didn't have money. But they express their love. If you if you went to the house, you're gonna eat a meal. You're gonna eat a meal. They're gonna put some time. In fact, even what they threw together was better than what you could get at a restaurant. So they gave from their heart. Love sacrifices. 
Love sacrifices, love forgives. And I, I said it because it's, and, and parenting shows the best of that, and, and, the, and it's the easiest to do side of it. Because your child has been in trouble, your child, whatever, and you're glad to see them come by. Not because they have been, but because you love them. You love them and you want them to know I'm not holding anything against you because I love you because you are my child. Yes. I may want more for you, but I don't dislike you and hate you. And I'm willing to feed you. I'm, I, I want to, you think about it, I want to spend time. And so when we think God want to spend time with us. He want to spend time with the one he, ones he loves. So love sacrifice, love sacrifice, and in the natural we sacrifice one, for one another. We need to make sure we sacrifice for some time with God. It's like you stay up and watch movies some nights. Some nights stay up and just spend time with God. The early mornings. God, it's awesome. It's awesome. I do it sometimes. It's awesome because everything else shuts down. And you give God that time late the power love saves that's an awesome awesome ability I forgive you you have the power to forgive me when, when Jesus he just said your sins be forgiven your sins be forgiven. I mean, I have to set you free from what, what has bound you up. And when he forgives their sins, they end up healed. So when you talk about forgiveness, don't just think some people are bound up and the forgiveness sets them free. Some people knowing that you forgave them something, it just it, it, it allows their heart to be set free. And likewise, some people when you forgive Life and, and it's been bothering them and just sets them free because it's like this we are saved and love God but the enemy still uses everything he can to antagonize us and to beat up on us reminding you of everything in fact covering a multitude of sins and God forgiving us how many times do we as Christians and sometimes been saved for years and the enemy will bring up something you 30 years ago and you feel guilty about it right. you feel guilty about something you did 30 years ago you wasn't even a born again Christian then God done washed you and cleansed you and you done shouted and praised and glorified God and felt the presence of God heard the voice of God and the enemy still bring up something and you feel bad about it but then here it is God letting us know that love has the power to forgive and God has forgiven us God has forgiven us. If any man is he's you don't have to worry about feeling sad and, and bad and and, 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 and and the freedom in it is it allows us to go in and do what God because God wants us to know that He loves us enough that He sacrificed for us and that He saved us. And if you're not saved, He's willing to save you. Because he died just for you also. And it is his will that none should perish. That's how much love God has for us. That is his will that none should perish. It's his will. In fact, he gave the example with the, the, the corn and, and the 99 sheep. He's willing to go after you. He's willing to go after you. I don't know how many other people are saved. God is still. God is still. God is standing at the door and not. you just as much as I love everybody else and because of my love for you I'm going to be persistent sometime in life we we, we the things but God that God just keep bothering us God God he won't let us back doing nothing so he keeps bothering us he keeps he keeps stirring us up trying to let us know I did not love you enough to die for you. I did not love you enough to, that, that my, my 
resent me and that I and that I got back up. I didn't go through all for you to think I want to use for and I want you above all to be saved. So if you're listening today and you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sins, it's simple. God loves you and God wants a relationship with you. And you can trust him. So the power is, 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 is forgiveness. Now, first John, fourth chapter, first John, fourth chapter, 17th verse. Awesomeness. Awesomeness of love. You know what? You can, you can love, and some of us, are, the parents may be going on, but you love them the same now. That, isn't that something that love does not diminish? diminish. I think about my loved ones that are gone, and I love them just as much now as I did then. That is awesome. That that love is not affected because we, we will try to control stuff, and people do try to use to people and love. manipulation and control is not love. Manipulation and control is not love. That's why with God, and I tell people the fact that with God, He He He, he wants us. He called for us to be saved, but he don't make us. That's right. He wants us to love him enough that we choose him. That we choose him. And that we, 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 we so like you said, by loving kindness have I drawn you. God loves us that he wants to say, okay, I want you to choose me. I want you to want to be around me. I want you to, I want you to want to get up in the morning and pray unto me. I want you to I inspire you to be more like me and me and study to know more about me so you can have a closer relationship with me. I don't make I, I, I want you to choose rather to do that. That's the type God we serve. Choose to be uh, uh, closer to me and uh, want to be have a more of a relationship with me. The power of love. First John, the, the fourth chapter for those that are here when you have it say amen. Amen listening, uh, present us in this that we may in the days of judgment Amen. power of love boldness power of love look at all this, this awesome stuff the, the, the power of love sacrifice it saves, has the power to forgive and love has been perfected among us in this that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Love brings about boldness. I know who I am and whose I am. When I leave this earth, don't talk about I'm, I, we lost him. No, I'm not lost. As the songwriter said, come on up to bright glory. I'll be waiting there. Boldness in the day of judgment, not running from, Amen. not scared of. That's right. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, so are we in this world. Don't let nobody fool you thinking that you're a little nobody. As Christians, we're made in the image of God and we have the spirit of God and we can operate just like Jesus did when he was down here. That's why he said we can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's why he said we can speak to the mountain and the mountain be removed and that it shall be removed and cast into the sea. That's why he even go further and say it, 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 it would be better for us to have a stone tied around and thrown into the midst of the sea than to follow one of God's least ones. Here, because we're loved by the best. Hallelujah. Love. Love. I don't care what somebody God's power and his love for you come to be. Get on up and do what God called you to do. Don't close your eyes in death on this side and have not accomplished what God placed you down here to accomplish because love turned the world upside down so that we could come down here and do what we should do in the image of our Lord and Savior. 
love of us has been a perf perfected among us and this we may have boldness in the day of judgment is this world there is fear in love there is no fear in love you trying to hide when this time that's not love you scared somebody's going to curse you out when they get home that's not love you scared somebody to spend all your money while you're working hard and they say they love you but all the money is gone. That's not love. Amen. That's not love. Running to church all the time and then mistreating somebody. That's not love. Okay, Saying we love God and don't love our, our fellow man. That's not love. And I don't care what they do, don't do. They all have it still to be loved. I don't have to like what you do to love you. There is no fear of love, but love cast out fear. We're talking about the power of love. Perfect love cast out fear. He can be stoned and looking up under heaven and glorifying God because he had no fear of what he was doing. Right. Jesus. cowering down and scared of it. Face it. If I, if I perish, let me perish as Esther say. But I'm going to see the king. Yes. All right. Come what may, you can act whatever kind of way you want to act. But I'm going to live my life free. If I have to go on home now, I'll go on home now. But I'm not going to live my life in fear and bondage. Amen. There's around you. Somewhere scared. Not somewhere scared. Use wisdom, yes. Be cautious, yes. But don't walk in fear. Don't walk in fear. Everybody that has a corona, heart attack, whatever else, Christ, they rise up in Christ. And according to the word, the dead in Christ shall rise first. So they're just prepared. Perfect love cast out fear. Stop being scared of failure. Scared of failure. Won't do nothing because you're scared you'll fail. Perfect love cast out fear. You want to learn to drive and you're scared of, you're scared of the cars and cars, scared of the road. Stop operating and living in fear. Because you're so scared somebody may do something. You don't want to go anything. Scared of everything. Perfect love cast out fear. Fall in love with God the way you want you to fall in love with Him. And you'll realize life can be lived without walking around fear day in and day out if I leave this, this earth but I'm going to walk in freedom knowing that God's got it all, all right. there's no fear in love but perfect love cast out fear because fear involves torment yeah. Aren't you tired of being tormented you won't even buy yourself a coat or a shoes yeah. because been broke. You may have been without, but you have to realize, even without, God took care of you. A lot of us grew up with nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. People would have looked at nothing we had at all. God still was faithful. God still was faithful. Still was faithful. No matter what people said about you, about what you didn't have, what you had, you able to look at your life Nobody but you, God. Nobody but you. When I was in trouble, you brought me over. When I was sick, you brought me through. When I was down, you picked me up. When I was in sin, you picked me up, turned me around, and changed my life. That now I'm not the same as I used to be. You, God. There's no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear. Because fear involves torment. Yes. God don't want you to be tormented. That's right. Tormented. Scared of everything. Scared of everything. And watch TV and everything in a symptom. You have it. Come on, man. Medication. I had to say. So if you went according to your mind, you would be taking everything on the market. Fear. And all of a lot of it, it comes down to is scared of leaving here. But the Bible says once appointed upon man to die. Right. But after that is the judgment. Amen. And this scripture tells us there's no fear and love, but perfect love cast out fear because fear 
and tormented what's going to happen next what's going to happen after this you fears has not been made perfect in love he that fears has not been made perfect in love if God God cares about us, then why we're so scared of everything? Of everything. Don't you read your word? God is shall suffer persecution. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers them out of them all. He didn't say we wouldn't go through anything. He just said he would be with us and bring us through it all. He who fears has not been made perfect in love. Let's start looking at that thing. If all you feel is fear every day, then something is not concerned in love with God. Because God, even when you think about sickness, the Bible says not every sickness is unto death. Them all. Some people, I want to lay down and peacefully leave. That's what I want. And most of the disciples, some of them pulled asunder, crucified upside down. But I'm sure they weren't a peaceful transition. Yeah. So meaning that we, we, we say, God, have your way. All right. Come on, God, have your way. And then we make plans on everything the way we want it. And thank God and did us wrong when he don't do it the way he say do it. The way we want it done, rather. But it, 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 I remember someone once said that, it, that, that it's all right to die, but it's what state you in when you die. If you're saved, then it's, it's, it's glorious, glorious, glorious. If you're unsaved, it's sad, sad, sad. Yeah. That's why it comes back to the little, little, little saying about if, if you're a Christian, this is as close to hell as you will ever get. Yeah. If this is, if you're a Christian because of the love of God, this is as close to hell as you would ever get. Because it only gets better from here. Yeah. Okay. If you're not a Christian, this is as close to heaven as you ever get. It only gets worse from here. I want to be on the Lord's side. Amen. I want to be on the Lord's side. But it said that a perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Yeah. Let's make sure we love, love people. Love people. People shouldn't be, your children shouldn't be scared to come around you because, oh, they're going to beep on me again. They're me down again. They're going to talk about I didn't gain weight. They're going to talk about that my they're going to talk about that way my hair is. That's I just love me. I don't have the way you want me to wear clothes the way you want me to wear them. I mean if you want to be tidy and all that. And you cannot like it and you can say something sometimes. But not all the time. All the time. Don't bother people about their weight. I know some people that don't bother even go visiting people because they're tired of hearing that. Child, how big you gonna get? <laughs> or somebody having children, how many you gonna have? And what, okay, now what? I, I've got, I, I'm, I have the children now, so what am I gonna do? You know, or the person pregnant, how many you gonna have? Okay, I, I have to have this one. <laughs> Don't, don't live your Christian life where people don't care to be around you. Right. Because what you say is not exemplifying love. Right. People are already struggling enough with life. Struggling enough with their own self-esteem. Right. Without us beating them down. It's okay just to love on some people. Right. God love on us. God see our faults. Yes, I know you think you're perfect, but God see your faults. Amen. <laughs> He see all of our thorns. And the fact that it is, he still loves us and still uses us because he's God. We, we sit there with magnifying glasses trying to critique everybody. Not realizing that the, the same daddy, the same father, your parents knew you. They knew you. Our parents know us. God the Father know us. And in fact, he says, the angels are encamped about us reporting back to him. So that means there's nowhere you can go that they're not reporting back to God what you're doing. That's right. you know, and they're covering us and looking after us, but they also know everything about us. That's right. That's good. That's good. The power of love. The power of love. Now see, I, 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 I want to at least get to uh, another scripture. We may have to 
continue it because the time is running running the, 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 the power of the power of love um see i, I don't want to rush i, I don't want to don't want to rush it uh, i don't want to rush it so that the, the we'll, we'll continue on with another scripture on on on, on next uh, but the, but the the boldness um here i want to just we'll just this a little more to face the afterlife the boldness to face the afterlife. None of us need that. We need love enough that we know it's going to be okay. Yeah. Even when it's time to go. That's right. Even when it's time to go. You can realize the stuff people are doing trying to keep from dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're saying we love God and oh, and, uh, and, 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 and I can only imagine and all of that stuff. That the stuff we're doing to keep from going to see him. And the fear that grips us, the fear that grips us when we think we may leave here. And God said, perfect love. Perfect love. Like, I don't want to go. You know, Paul said it's to die the gain and, and, and I'm, I'm torn, torn betwixt to leave or to stay. God wants us to, get, be, to allow the power of love to get us to that point to where, okay, I don't want to go. But I'll just be with the Lord. Yeah. Everybody is not, and some listen and say, well, yeah, that's easy. Of life. Everybody's not scared of death. Everybody's not scared of people. Everybody's not scared of, of losing their money. Everybody's not scared of losing their house or losing their car. Everybody's not walking around in fear about the what ifs. Some are trusting God enough that the God that loved me will take care of me. You done took care of me down through the years has been good to me yeah. that you done brought me as one song you brought me through this yeah. and I'm thankful yeah. so love is there for us yeah. to benefit from the power of love yeah. in your life yeah. as we go forward realize that love is a sacrifice there's sacrifices mothers are sacrificed fathers have sacrificed Sisters and brothers have even sacrificed. Sometimes it was hard dealing with you. Yes. <laughs> I can talk, talk about my sisters and brothers. I don't call no names since I have, have, have plenty of <laughs> Which one was hard? <laughs> but love is the power that causes sacrifices. And love, love saves. So I end today with the fact that the power of love is to save. To save. We're saved today. And we're able to say because of Christ yeah. that we live and move and have our being. Right. We're able to say, yes, Jesus loved me. This I know. For the Bible, so. He, we are weak and he is strong. Yeah. We're able to say that, 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 that those are all the time, but God has been good. Yeah. And to be able to say that you know, that you know, that you know, that God loved saved and if life end uh, be in the bosom of Abraham is, is, is worth its weight in gold the power of love I pray everyone today experience I pray everyone mama's love is awesome mama's love is awesome now come on now there's oh, <laughs> nothing like mama's love everything. That's why the Bible talks about unless you deny everything else and follow me. Nothing should compare to the love of God. Your love for somebody else, your love for things should not compare to your love for God. The power of God for you. I thank God for this day. I thank God for his word. For him showing and letting us know that I love you and so deep for you that I Said it, I showed it. Amen. I sacrificed my son. My son turned around and loved you so much, he sacrificed his life. Yes. And now we both, because the father is in the son, the son is in the father, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, waiting on us. We'll be with him forever. 
That's the culmination of love. Is that when it's all over. And we're able to sing about when all God's children. Oh, yeah. get time. Yeah. What a time. What a time. Oh, yeah. When I'm out of Christ. Face to face and behold his face. The Bible said that then we'll know even as we're known. We'll understand it better. God loves us and God wants us to have the best. He wants us to have the best. He gave the best. Accept the love of God this day and allow God to operate in your life. The power of love. Be blessed this day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Love Day. Thank God for you. Thank God for all that God has done. And know that your living is not in vain. Christ is not in vain. Know that God has purpose for you. And allow his love and the power of his love to act in your life. Have an awesome day. Again, God loves you. God be with you. And know that I love you. I continue to look upon your family and bless your family. Freedom Zone Worship Center family, I love you. I thank God for you. Thinking about thank God. Thank God for us being together as a family. God bless you. God bless you.